You're watching Galileo Sky How To videos. My name is Andrew and I represent the technical support team. We continue telling you about the easy logic opportunities. Today we will analyze two different tasks, both involving RFID cards and I button keys, that you can use in your projects. Companies usually use driver's identification to monitor driver working hours, to see who and what time was driving a certain vehicle. That's very simple, yet convenient. But that's not all that can be done using RFID or I button. Easy Logic tool allows to solve different tasks using identification technology. Today we will show you how to use driver identification to provide access to vehicle engine and to set fuel supply limits. Let's start with a simple example – how to set access to the vehicle engine. Vehicle is parked. Driver opens the car but he cannot start the ignition until his trusted key is attached to the reader. He attaches the RFID card and gets one minute period, during which he can start the engine. Now, let's see how to build an easy logic algorithm that would meet these requirements. Connect the engine to output zero of the tracker, connect input zero to ignition sensor. Create a condition that if no trusted key is attached, the engine is blocked. Once the key is attached, output will be opened for one minute, during which the driver should start the engine. The engine will be working until the ignition is off. After that, the output will be closed. If the driver doesn't start the engine during the allowed minute, the output will be closed, and the driver will have to attach the trusted key one more time. The algorithm is ready for use. Pretty simple, isn't it? You can also set access to ignition for some period of time, for example for car sharing purposes, or to set different speed limits for different driver's experience. All you need is to add corresponding conditions to the algorithm. Now let's have a look at another example – how to set fuel supply limits for each driver. Remote area – Refueler supplies fuel to the vehicles. Each vehicle spends its own amount of fuel per day, so for controlling issues, each driver has his own limit of fuel for each 24 hours. You can refuel the vehicle only after attaching the RFID card. In this case, the refueler supplies fuel until the limit is reached. Once the limit is exceeded, the fuel flow is blocked. After that, the next vehicle arrives, and everything is repeated in the same way. This is how the refueler algorithm looks like. In this example, we connected output 0 to a valve that shuts the fuel flow from the refueler. First, we set fuel limit. If there are different limits used for different vehicles, we set limits for each. In this example, we used limits equal to 60 and 40 liters. Next step is checking the current time. We set this to ensure that the fuel delivery limit is renewed daily. This part of the algorithm sets the fuel supply. Let's have a closer look. Here the card is red, and the algorithm checks the remaining fuel limit. If it's not exhausted, it measures the current level of consumption, and opens access to refueling. Each minute, the algorithm subtracts supplied fuel from the daily limit and checks the result. Once the limit is exceeded, the valve shuts the fuel flow. Now you can use this algorithm in the field. Always provide your clients only with smart, individually developed solutions. Any tasks can be solved using the Easy Logic technology. In our next videos, we'll continue telling you about the technology opportunities. And how do you use Easy Logic? Tell us about your interesting projects that you have implemented using our technology. Write in the comments which solutions you would like to see in the next videos. And subscribe to our channel so that useful information is always at hand.